Um, have you ever, have, has anybody worked with a pendulum at home? Or like, okay, there's an old thing where take, for instance, uh, you guys are all pretty young, you probably don't remember this, but if take, for instance, uh, someone is pregnant, and you want to know if it's a boy or a girl, this is before ultrasound, right? You take a wedding band, an, a gold wedding band, and you take a bit of your hair, I mean, well, not my hair, but someone who had hair, and you wrap the, you tie uh, the hair around the wedding band, and you hold it over the tummy of the, you know, the pregnant lady, and whatever direction it would go, that would tell you the sex, or so it, so they say. Okay. Now, actually, the response of a pendulum, when someone holds a pendulum to get answers, and you can try this at home. Actually, the, the best pendulum in the world, the most sensitive pendulum in the world, is a paperclip. Get yourself one of the big paper clips, or a wedding ring if you want, but a paper clip, and just get, uh, we'll say, just a piece of cord, like a thin string, and hold it over, and just you can try different things with that. Now, that's actually related to what's called ideomotor response, actually. It's your subconscious actually thinking about the thing to move. Now, some people relate it to spirits and all sorts of things, but this, the scientific thing is it's called an idio, idiomotor response. And since it's your subconscious, I tend to think that that means that you already have the answers. You just don't have, you haven't seen them yet, right? Now, with this here, I have like three pendulums that I sort of made up. This is at home. See what happens when I'm home alone, right? I took a paintbrush, drilled a couple holes in it. Not very well. You can tell I'm a good do-it-yourself or DIY kind of person. And I found some keys kicking around that no one was using. And I just put them on a little blades of string. Okay? Now, Rose, I'm going to need your hands. Actually, what I want you to do is I want you to hold these like this. Okay? Um, I'll pretend I'm... Okay. So you're going to hold these. And can, can everybody see that? Okay, I'm going to steady these. I know you might be shaking a little bit because of, of just nervousness or whatever. Don't be nervous, okay? No, no worries. Now, if she moves this whole thing, all these things are going to move, right? So we're going to try a little experiment, because everybody wants to move things with their mind, right? I have, I have something that I do on a stage where I actually have all sorts of things that people move things. It's much too smaller, because I get people to actually break glass with their mind, and I don't, for safety reasons, we're not going to do that here. But we're going to do something where Rose is going to move something with just her mind. Pressure's on now. I want you to pick uh, a number, one, two, or three. You, you have to tell me. What do you think? Is my reading? That one? Number two. Number two. So number two is a steady one. Okay, so it's, they're, they're fairly steady. What I want you to do is I want you to concentrate on that and see it going around in a circle. Just it going around in a circle. Concentrate. Don't be nervous. Just concentrate. Try to hold it steady. Look at this. Now, she's really moving it. These move with it. But you see how it's going around in a circle? Can you see this? Keep on concentrating. Try. Make sure they really see this thing going. Look at this. You can try this at home. Now, is it supernatural? Is it ideomotor response? What is it? Try something like this at home. I'm not going to put the pressure on you that much. But she did a very good job. Give her a hand, ladies and gentlemen. Try this at home. Get a pencil and put some things on it and try it. It's, you'll be really surprised.